So good morning guys, how are we doing today? I hope we're growing. That is the purpose each and every day that we're growing, that we are pressing forward, that we are, my son is over here playing with spider webs, but that we are continuing to grow, to explore, to know God more and to let him be known. And you can know him more through people, through his creation, through his words, and through you. <laughs> it's called experience. It's called personal relationship, right? So I am knowing my garden more. Why? Because I spend more time in my garden. I spend more time studying the different plants that I would love to plant or that I am planting. I spend more time in creating the atmosphere that will allow them to grow to their full potential. I want to challenge you that as we grow, that we're not just growing in a physical, we're getting older every day and every year, but that we're growing in our mind, we're growing mentally, we're growing spiritually, right? And we're growing emotionally so that we become emotionally mature, that we become spiritually strong, and that we become physically able, better, and well. <laughs> so today, I am going to be growing Cho Cho, aka Choco. That's what I see online from the British part of things. And then in the Spanish realm, we see it as Chayate, C H A T O Y E. So, either way, whatever you call it, today we're going to be growing it. And if one of my assistants can pass me my Chayate or Chocho, where's my Chocho? Daniel, can you get my Chocho? Did I have it out there? Oh, then I have to cut and come back. So, before we get in the meat of the matter, please like, subscribe, and share. We love growing with you here at Grow Earth, and we want to make sure that we are maximizing our reach as we reach further and do more. What a great time to grow today. Stay with me. I'll be right back. So guys, I am back, and I tell you, my mom keeps telling me, Nadine, wear your gloves, wear your gloves, wear your gloves, and while I want to wear my gloves and be real girly with real nice pretty nails i get it oh trust me i get it i don't feel like i am connecting in gloves does anybody identify or no all you all out there gals and boys you are just putting on your gloves everywhere well <laughs> i don't know i hope my hands doesn't be upset with me not protecting them but the gloves make me feel so hot Woo! but anywho I want to show you my gift. So from the other day, I'm sticking my gloves there. From the other day, I am trying with this. My mom talks about, oh, we grow chocho, chocho is so easy to grow, all that kind of stuff. I bought a chocho, um, chayate or choco, C-K-O, C-H-O-K-O or C-H-O-C-H-O or C-H-A-T-Y-T-O-Y-E. Whoa. Anyways, um, this one I was in the fridge. Nothing was happening. I took it out the fridge, keep it in like my little pantry. When the door is closed, it's dark in there. Then it starts to bust some roots. If you notice, you see, can you see that? A little bit of roots there. We have around three going on there. And then we have where the little sprouting is coming from. Now, I automatically think like a potato. Uh, I would put it down like this. But after doing a little bit of research, I found out that potato is really so easy to grow that you just put it down. And in three months, you have potato. You have chocho. But well, that's what I heard. I've never grown chocho before. But I've seen chocho vine. I've eaten chocho in curry, in stew. I heard that you can put it with panko breadcrumbs and fry it. After cooking it up, I, I hear that you can 
not a big fan of microwave i do use it but i'm not a big fan of it um put it in the microwave get it mushy and do that kind of stuff so there's a lot of things i hear that it's a filler people put it in their apple pie and of course chocho doesn't really have a distinct taste but it can t it's a vehicle to take on whatever you want it to take on so if you put it with curry it will taste like the curry if you put it with jerk it will taste like the jerk we used to use it in stew like we do with carrots we use chocho we used to do it as a vegan vegetarian type of a meat where we just add our garlic or tomatoes or aromatics herbs and stuff like that and we just saute and cook that up and then pour that over whatever um carbohydrate like banana dumpling yam rice we want it over sometimes you can put a little turmeric or turmeric am i pronouncing that right daniel turmeric in it because i add to jamaica as a curry indian have a curry and then we have turmeric which is different i add my turmeric and my curry together and i do make sure that i have black pepper in that turmeric or turmeric because without that black pepper your body finds it really hard to break down raw turmeric when it's in capsule form and other pill form they put i guess what they need in there for your body to break it down otherwise if you're just using raw um, granulated turmeric without black pepper it's gonna be hard for your body to so you might not see the result that you're looking for but all of those as we are growing and we're learning and we're planting what we eat and we're eating what we plant we will understand more about you know our environment the soil the seed you know and all that things and how we relate and correlate and is connected to all that does all of that make sense to you i hope it does it's making a lot of sense to me so we're going to go ahead with this process right now i have a i hear that they're not cold tolerant so they want to be in a warm area i grew up with these i am an island girl so i grew up with these in jamaica however i am in the warmer parts of of the region of america so i believe that i can try to do that however if you have anything that goes below some what it's used to i guess it won't do best i got this now from a church sister this is the white one somebody told me that the white one does different things from the green one i grew with the green one i think i've seen the white one before however if you can see again the root is here so you want to lay it flat like that on the ground or you want to make a little trench do not put under soil on the soil put on top of soil and then i'm going to put one on this side of my trellis and then i'm going to put one over here right here all of this what you're seeing is just beans right and um i am trying to see if i i don't know where it's gonna hold but it needs something I put one here and one around the side because here is really choked up with a lot of beads. So, all right, then let's go. You with me? Ready? So, I want it over here and I wanted you to see that. Ready? Yeah. So, guys, we're just going to make a little. If you notice, I have beans here. Um, I might take this bean up from right here. That's a bean over there. Yeah, so I'm going to take that up from there make a little are, you, are they seeing the dirt right here because you got to stand up where they can see the dirt so i'm making a little dirt pile right there and i'm hey eh? that's fine and i'm literally placing the chocha like that nothing else i'm just it will it will it will do its, it's thing that's it that's it so guys i just made a little incision right there again nothing nothing super big I get strict warning not to dig any hole so I'm just gonna put it down like that the concept is to have it run run up here Can you see that? Sorry. so we have this right here and I have passion fruit on it but I'm gonna see if the chocho can run there as well too so I put I just put the chocho like right like that in the ground beside and I put two of them two different places 
and I'm gonna see what happened and I will keep you posted I thank you so much for watching and um, continue to share share your knowledge share your joy share your peace share your love share your kindness share your hope and continue to grow